So hello everybody and welcome to another Power Week, yay! And in today's Power Week, this is um, the, the November 2018 uh, Power BI desktop update. So we're going to talk about a functionality called copy and paste visuals between Power BI files. And this is so cool that I want to do a video, a special video about it. And uh, let me show you how it works. So, you know, it's easier to show than it you know, talk about it. So here we have um, a Northwind data set and it's packed with these visualizations. And what we want to do is we want to copy this visualization into a new file. So if we copy this, I have already opened the new file. It's in there. I paste it. And as you can see, it's giving us an error because there's no data. I just open a new Power BI file and grab it there and say, hmm. And of course, you cannot do that. But if we go back to that Power BI file and we see that it's calendar and order details, so I can go here to edit queries and grab the calendar and order details, copy them. You can copy queries between files. Go to edit queries in here. You paste it. And then you close and apply. And, you know, if you haven't hard-coded your source, it will work. And if, if, if you have hard-coded, it will work if you still have access to it, obviously. So now it is loading. And boom. The thing that you see here is that mm, there's something wrong. So the year month is there, but the values is not there. So if we go back to the original file, you see that sales is a measure and you cannot copy measures yet, which I think is such a shame. So you have to actually build this manually. We copy it, go to all the details, we create a new measure, we put it there, and now It won't work because it doesn't have the relationship, so it doesn't copy the relationship. So you need to uh, create the structure, and this is not going to work because let me show you how this is connected. So we have orders, calendar, and order details. So we need to copy the order table too in order for that to work out. So if we go in there, we copy, we go to our file, add queries paste it in there and let's see if it now recognizes the relationships. It might do that, yeah. So we have order details and the, the only thing that we need to do is order date with date. And now we see the data again, okay. So you need to do a little bit of work because the relationships may or may not be copied when you're copying queries and the measures are not copied. but hey, this is a great progress, especially if you are doing direct connects where you are importing everything, the measures and the relationships. This works very, very well. So hello there. Do you know that I publish Power BI videos every Monday, Wednesday and Fridays? So make sure you hit the subscriber button and the bell to receive notifications every time I do that.